This looks much nicer. W210 and W123. Owned by an astronaut, owned by the Soviet government. <laughs> We'll do a more in-depth comparison of the two cars later. Right now, it's just um, 240D's dead uh, again. And this car is actually extremely dirty. Uh, my friend just bought it yesterday. And um, I'll take it over to pick and pull today and cut up a couple parts. Um, so, it's a project car. But uh, as you probably already know, this was owned by an astronaut. So, it's base dirt, you know? That's five from the moon or something, you know? Here's a good start up with the E320. With extremely high mileage. My mileage. Sorry. Swipers. Shoot. I done goofed. Um, where's the little toggle switch? Um, <laughs> I'm not used to this, to this car. Um, oh, there we go. No malfunction. To be fair, it does still kind of cheap in here, um, to be fair. Um, oh, well, I also need to get some of these. Well, none of these work. Except this one. This one doesn't work. Um, just gotta put your finger in there to work it. He likes it down. Headliner is, well, seen better days. Sunder still works, but... It's kind of cloudy outside. Uh -oh. That can't be all the way up. No, that's... There we go. That's, that's up. Okay. I'm still figuring this car out. It's going to be a full flipper. That was me flip car. Um, so, me and my buddy, we're going to flip this thing um, for uh, something. Um, it's a pretty nice little car. Uh, it's, got, it's, got, it's got some issues. Like that. Um, but it's got all the documents for it, got a title, clean title, spare key, um, and uh, leather seats, and no CD player. Um, and just in case you're watching this and have one, you can do this little trick right here. Tape, and then eject. That's how you do that. The previous owner has, has had three of these cars, they did not know how that worked, so anyway. That is the E320. Now let's move on to the 240D. Here is the 240D. Um, 1982. 240D at the 2002, by the way. Um, everything sort of works, but everything's also kind of broken. Um, Sunroof works, but uh, you have to be a strong German dude to open this thing up. Especially at speeds, because you need, like, some strength to open the manual. Um, it's got some E-class parts, some D-class parts, and uh, all the paperwork's here. Even the original braking period to take with the uh, um, W210 that I have. Um... But again, everything's kind of broken. I like that door panel. Um, it's kind of squeaky. Uh, mileage is 138 compared to the one 238 on that car. Or two, yeah, 238. 
That's an auto. No shame for this car. Green interior. Have an odd choice. Um, first aid kit still there. Uh, manual windows. Manual locks. Little radio. Um, no one dies already dead. Just. Oh, it's in here. I do. Uh, I do have my key for it. So uh, here's the key. I have like five of these keys to go in right a little out there. Let's see. Oh, it's not going to want to turn today. Oh, this is already a couple months. It gets like stuck. So it's locked. Oh well. Uh, anyway, that's the 240D. Uh, I'll provide a more in depth video on this car in the future, along with that car, and a more better comparison. But this is 